Right boys and girls, welcome back to another muscle fishing video. If you see this, it means we've ran the video and we've got a relatively successful one. Obviously if you don't, we're well, never going to see me talking so you can ignore that bit. What are we doing today? We are luck pumping uh, for about an hour and a half because I'm going to attempt to give the uh, Twitchy Tips competition which is run by uh, the Fresh and Frozen Baits uh, company which you sometimes see on my page because that's where I get my baits from a lot of them anyway um, but lugworm <laughs> is something I hate paying for always have done um, so hence the lugworming kit it's a lot of effort it's a massive massive tide today 0.5 meters um, 0.50 meters sorry uh, is the low and uh, we've still got about an hour and a half uh, until low tide and as you can see we've got sand down there which is exactly what we need to pump lug so for now i'm gonna try and get my bait for the competition and then you will see me um, heading towards uh, the fisherman's club down at eastbourne where we meet everyone and uh, there's going to be a few bit of banter thrown about i'm sure probably towards me but that's absolutely fine we're all here for a bit of fun right hopefully we'll get 30 or 40 worms and uh jobs are good Oh, there we go. That is what we're looking for. Those. And those are what we've got. Right, well, we've got our worms. Um, I think we've got about 40 in the end, so we did okay. So, quickly on the way home, we we'll grab the head torch. Get down to the Fisherman's Club, Angling Club, at, uh, down at Eastbourne you there. Right, welcome to the beach. We're uh, match fishing today. Um, filming wise is going to be a bit tricky because uh, it's fast paced. We've only got three hours of fishing, but uh, the rod is out there. Quarter past seven, smack out there. We're on a three hook clip down, bottom hook, bit of squid, two hook. We've got a um, nice live lugworm, which we pumped, obviously. 45 minutes to an hour ago. Fingers crossed we catch a few fish. I've got me bucket. So uh, I went up to the top of the beach and, uh, and found one to be returned to its rightful owner. Didn't steal it because I found it lying about, but um, I'll put it back regardless. Right, I'm going to set up a two hook clip down and uh, I'm going to go watch the rod and we're going to be every 15, 20 minutes, change the bait. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, first fish of the evening, a uh, little whiting. I think these have got to be 28. Uh, so let's have a little look. Let's have a look. 20, 25. So I think that one goes back. I should make sure I'm flinging him over. Right, so just find out whiting is 27. And that is uh, 25, that one. So uh, we'll go and put that one back as it's uh, a little too small. Now with match fishing it's crucial to have um, a second rig ready all the time so I'll wind in that rig, um, if there's a fish on I'll just unclip it, get the new rig on, cast it out and then I'll deal with the fish after. Because uh, it's not a catch and release match this so it's, uh, you have to keep the fish. Might have another little knock on there. I'd rather get that one in quickly because I've got a two hook clip down and then I've got a three hook clip down but the three hook clip down has got a bit of squid on which might get us a dogfish to um, get us some weight. We'll see. Right, we've got another white in, but that's way too small and a bit of weed. But we've got that cast back out there, and then we're just gonna ping that off and go and get him back. Now, because we're match fishing, we're fishing with very small bits of squid. Now, that's a size, uh, I think, a 1 0 hook, tiny bit of squid, tiny bit of lug, and we're just preparing that rig uh, to put onto the rod. Uh, when uh, when we when we bring that one in, hopefully with a fish on, and then uh, just on there, I'm just going to put on a lugworm. She's uh, up there in my box. Just using very small bits of lug. That's just half a little lug, nothing big. Two fish so far, but none of size, so they don't count, unfortunately. That's a better bite, boys. Much better bite. Right, there's a fish down there. Uh, 
little place which absolutely, unfortunately, will not be sizable. It's 28. Uh, yeah. 22. All right, let's get my nooks and get back. A little knock there, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it pulling down. There's probably a little whiting on there. Now, I'm going to give that, uh, that bite just a, about a minute because there's some squid on the end and I want to give it enough time for a dogfish to come along. Match fishing, you need to get fish which are sizable and these are just pin whited and they're not sizable. So um, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and um, just fingers crossed we get a dogfish or a sizable whiting or even a sizable plate as there's a couple here. If we're getting constant pin whiting, I'll put on a pulley panel rig and, and we'll just try and we'll wait it out and we'll try for a dogfish. But that's a better bite. So that's not bad actually. Typical, isn't it? We come for a match match session, and the filming is going to be a bit odd. Um, it's not going to be very good because it's very quick pace fishing, and we're getting a nice mixed species bag, plates and whiting already. Weird, isn't it? We know it works. Right, we better check that bite. Right, another whiting, a bit bigger this one. Let's see if it's sizable. 27. I think this might just be. Come on. Yes. 28. Fantastic. One sizable fish. Get in. Right, so tactics. This is what we're going to do. We're going to fish the rigs I'm using for the whiting and the possible dogfish until 9 o'clock. Fishing stops at quarter past 10. Uh, and then we're going to put on a pulley panel at nine o'clock to try for that elusive dogfish, or no, elusive ray. What do we call them on this channel? Obligatory dogfish. That is the plan. So what I'm talking about with the prepared rigs, you can see down here, uh, I've got my weight. I've got my squids on the bottom. And it's all clipped up already. So it runs up here to some lugworm runs up there to some more lugworm and then it's clipped in at the top so i just ping that off keep the tension clip it onto the rod out it goes just uh, one size of a whiting so far i might have to switch on to a you know to try and get dogfish because that is what's going to win it some dogfish got a bite there though look there you go it's a nice juicy little cocktail squid and joey mackerel with very small hook probably too small but we can only give it a go can't we give it a go right as you can see we've got ready the panel. I think a few guys uh, a few guys down down there about dogfish so um, that's what we've got to fish for now one whiting ain't gonna cut it so we're gonna wire this rod in and get that bloody panel and wait for the big fish another whiting have a feeling this will also be sizable. So have a little look. Yeah, easy. 20, 30 centimetres, so that's a bit bigger. Well, 30, 31. There you go. Right, excellent. It's exactly what we we're after. A dogfish. I told you, put a pulley panel, that's done the job. So I had a feeling that would be the case. As I said, we needed to keep the tactics in mind today, and that is exactly what we've done. So. I'm going to rebake that one up in a second and uh, just make sure it's legal. But that's not a bad size one, so that's good. So we've got Mr. Dogfish down there. Right, let's get another bait out there. Boys, that's a good bite. I'm going to have to strike that. Oh, guys, I am devastated. I've just lost probably my biggest ever shorefish. Um, it must have been a conger eel. I was fighting it so hard, I feel it really pulling. And the only time I've ever felt that is on the boat on a wreck fighting for conger. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. It's uh, unfortunately sat my hook. I had to put pressure, it was going in the groin. I got in the water a bit to try and pull it out, and I was pulling it, just moving, and off the hook, high. I would want me to match that, would have done. But I'm not even, I don't mind winning about the match, that doesn't bother me. What does bother me is losing a fish like that. You win some and you lose some. Unfortunately, I lost a lot this week, but it is what it is. Got a few 
to another bark map pulley panel. There's a lot of fish out there. For an easterly wind, I cannot believe the amount of fish out there. I, I wish I could stay until sort of 2 a.m. But unfortunately, um, we've only got about 25, 30 minutes of fishing there. A real shame, because I'd like to stay out tonight. I think, there's a lot, I think there's a lot of fish out there. If I'd had a pulley panel rig on all night, uh, it was bluey or whatever, I'm sure I would have got a race tonight. It just feels right. Got a bite now on the, uh, on the rod. Bully panel with a bit of squid on. There that fella, open and get that dog fish. That dog fish keeps escaping. Oh, he's a naughty old man. He took me towing as well. Gross. We're not really going to be able to see me, uh, but I came 12th out of 17. Um, and considering most of these anglers fish all the time for matches, and they're a hell of a lot better casters than I am, I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you for watching. I know it wasn't uh, a particularly incredible video, but uh, it's a little bit different. So take care, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enjoy your week. Thank you very much. See you later.